Good Friday and Easter inseparable in God's plan for mankind's redemption. The Bible says he was buried, he died on the cross, according to the scriptures. He was buried, he was raised to life for our salvation. They are inseparable. There's a gentleman in our church, I'm kind of in awe of him, because five years ago, Pat decided to hike the Appalachian Trail. And we're talking 2,200 miles. I'll never forget when I talked with him, he said many people ask him, did you go alone? And he said, yeah, I went alone, but I was never alone. There were always other people there, trail angels, that God would send across my path. And I always felt the presence of a higher power being with me. He was talking about God. My question is this, was Jesus alone on the cross? When he died on that cross, was he all alone? Was it absolutely Satan's territory and he had total jurisdiction over everything that was taking place? The answer is no. Jesus was never alone. When he's on that cross from 12 noon to 3 p.m., it becomes as dark as midnight at midday. God brought the darkness. The temple of the, the curtain in the temple was torn in twain. It's because God was present. And when Jesus died and breathed his last, it was God saying, there is now no separation between me and mankind. I'm open to you because of what my son has just done. Was Jesus alone on the cross? Not hardly. God was there because why else would a thief on the cross say to him, I believe in you, Jesus. Remember me when you come into your kingdom. God was there. The Roman centurion, when Jesus breathed his last, he says, truly this was the son of God. How else could he say that? if God himself was not present. We all realize that Jesus said, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And we understand Isaiah 59 too, where it says there is only one thing that can separate you from God, and that is your sin. Your sin separates you from God. He cannot see your face. He cannot bless you. Your sin has separated you from God. When Jesus said to his heavenly Father, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Who's he speaking to? God. What is God doing? God is looking at his Son and does not see him because the sins of mankind are upon him. Is God there on the mountainside? Absolutely. Can you ever fall into a sin so great that God turns his back on you? Not possible. God's love is so extreme. Prodigal son, thief on the cross. Was there ever a time where God truly turned his back on Jesus? Even when Jesus was saying, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? God was at that moment taking the substitutionary sacrifice of his son and using it for mankind's salvation. God was present there. And when Jesus is dead, and when he's in the grave for a day and a half, God is still there. And finally, on that first Easter Sunday, God said, I've had enough. Colossians 2, 9, 10, and 11, I've had enough. He goes down into Satan's lair, and he knocks on Satan's door. And he says, I'm going to raise my son from the dead. There's no argument allowed. He said, Jesus, come forth. And God raised his son with fullness of power. Good Friday and Easter, so important and inseparable in the lives of God's children. It's Easter now. Jesus is risen from the dead. The power and the light from the empty tomb, it will flow forth in your life through all eternity. In our Savior's name, amen.